Hello, and once again, welcome back to my channel. I am Allison with Baby Stepping to Freedom. Today, I'm answering five questions that were asked by Freedom in a Budget. I was tagged by Vita with Vicky, and these questions are all about our debt-free journey, our steps towards financial freedom, and our status right now and then our future. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on all the good stuff. Follow me on Instagram where you can see daily shenanigans and like my page on Facebook. Let's get started. Our first question is, how did I hear about Dave Ramsey and what were my initial thoughts? I have known about Dave Ramsey for longer than we've been on our debt-free journey. When I graduated from graduate school, my dad bought me the um, Total Money Makeover book. I tried to read it. I wasn't in very much debt. I had like one credit card maybe. Aaron and I weren't married yet, so I wasn't even thinking about that. And I sat down to read it and I was like, this is not for me. I don't need to do this, I'm not in debt. These people in this book are crazy because they got themselves in so much debt and that was the extent of my trying to read it. Um, after that, I have known some people who have followed the baby steps and I heard that Dave Ramsey followers were a little crazy. Um, maybe some people like to say it's a cult. Um, and that was kind of my initial thought was like, wow, I don't want to be a part of this. And then, wouldn't you know it, found myself in an extreme amount of debt. We got married. It was even worse. And we had to do something. So I broke out that book and read it again. And I thought, wow, this is me now. Crazy how just a couple years can make a difference. So that was our first interaction with um, really taking in the material in the book and um, you know taking it to heart. The next question is, what is the craziest piece of financial advice that we've received that we just have to laugh off? What's funny about this question is that when we were in debt and struggling, we really didn't get financial advice. People didn't have an opinion about our finances when we made it seem like we had money. We were using our credit cards and we were buying all the things that we wanted. Um, no one ever gave us financial advice. As soon as we started budgeting and paying off debt, everyone seemed to have an opinion about what we were doing. I think the craziest thing that we've heard since starting um, our debt-free journey is about cars. We have old cars that often have issues and a lot of people have the mindset that if we just had a car payment that would be cheaper than all the maintenance that we have to put into a car. Uh, I don't think that's true. I don't uh, believe that. We used to have a car payment about $350 and there have only been a handful of months that we've had car maintenance that has been over $350. So nah. We continue to have our old cars until we can buy new car, newer cars with cash, and that's what we're gonna do. Doesn't work for you, I'm sorry. So the next question is, what is the hardest place that we have had to give up either shopping at or eating at? Um, for us, with shopping, um, I mean, we have had to back away from doing as much shopping as we did before, but our biggest struggle is going out to eat. In the past, we spent a lot of money going out to eat, going to restaurants, fast food, coffee, whatever it was, and that has been one of the biggest challenges for us. We've had to really force ourselves to stay home and cook at home. Um, we do allow some money in our budget for going out every once in a while. We don't do huge meals out. Usually it's just a cheap local restaurant or something that, that we'll go to every once in a while. But other than that, um, we really haven't had to give up a whole lot. 
Our next question is what baby step are we on and how long have we been on it? We are on baby step two for just a couple more months. Um, we've been on it for about two and a half-ish years. We have paid off $115,000 and we have about $9,500 left at this point. Um, we're hoping to be debt free by the end of 2016. I mean 18, I forgot what year it was. Fingers crossed. Finally, our last question is, what are some things that we would like to do in baby step seven? Baby step seven seems so far in the future for us. We're just trying to like make it through this last $9,000 right now. But when we think about baby step seven, there are so many possibilities. I think the biggest thing is just retiring early. I would like to be able to have the freedom in my life to not have to go to work if I don't want to. Maybe I'll want to, I don't know. But having the ability to retire or cut back in working and just have some free time in life to not have to worry about um, making money to pay all the bills is the ultimate goal. I think we also would like to travel a lot. We both have a goal of buying an RV, living out of our RV, and driving around the country full time. I don't know if that will be our goal when we get to baby step seven, but it's just kind of a, a dream right now. So we'll see where baby steps seven, six, seven take us. So that's it. Those are the five questions that Freedom in a Budget posted for us in the debt-free community to answer. Thank you to Vita with Vicky for tagging me. Down below are links to all the other people on YouTube who have answered these questions. So go give them a look and see how other people answered 